And welcome to you from the Panasonic Stadium in Suita. Gamba Osaka here against Sanfrecce Hiroshima. Two sides who badly need to improve at the start of this J-League season. They haven't been good times of late for Gamba Osaka and certainly weren't last time. The 4-0 defeat at Vissel Kobe, the league leaders right now. They did win at Kyoto Sanga in the League Cup in midweek, but they want success in this competition. They are wonderfully well supported. They are one of the very biggest names in the J-League. But they've got to start making things happen. Big news today is that the player in your picture, Masaki Higashiguchi, is back in goal for Gamba. There was an awful lot of debate before the season about who would uh, have the goalkeeping gloves and he has finally been preferred to Kosai Tani. Plenty of friendship between these sides. Higashiguchi is an extremely popular player. Well, we wait for them to make their entrances here. Gamba losing 4-0 at Vissa last time after the 2-2 draw at Kashiwa, one-all draw at home against Sagan Tosu, just not really getting going. As you can see, it was 2-0 here last season to Gamba Osaka. Hiroshima won 5-2. Ben Khalifa with a hat-trick in uh, that game. The one later on in the campaign. They have brought their travelling fans as well, San Frecce. But they need to get going to that really poor goalless draw in the rain at home against Consadole Sapporo on the opening day. Then they lost at home against Albirex Nigata. But last time they did improve their last J-League game. They led early at the mighty Yokohama. And then they drew 1-1 in the end. They will take great solace from that and indeed from their League Cup win by the same scoreline as Gamba Osaka, a 3-1 win for them against Yokohama FC. And importantly in that game, Mitsuta managed to get on the score sheet and there is that sense that he's going to be so important for them. Well, here they come. It's a real cauldron, this place, and it deserves rather better than it's been getting. Takes some filling, the Panasonic Stadium. 40,000, and it won't be full here, but it's still an excellent atmosphere. Can Makoto Mitsuta get San Frecce Hiroshima going. Feels like a big game this for both of these sides, both much further down the table than they will want to be. Hiroshima were being talked about potentially as title challengers. They're a long way short of that at the moment, but they started last season slowly. Can they uh, pick up as they did in that campaign? We could take a look at both teams. Danny Poyato still searching for that perfect formula. Higashiguchi back in goal. Five changes to the side that lost 4-0 at Vissel Kobe last time. Riku Handa comes in at right back. Dawan is back in that midfield. Places in the front three for Suzuki and Fukuda, who makes his first appearance of the J-League season after he scored in midweek in the League Cup. There's our referee, Akihiko Ikeuchi. The VAR team will be led by Ryo Tanimoto. And as always, we hope they won't have to be too involved. Well, Mikael Skibber names a team which is unchanged from the much-improved performance against Yokohama last time. That back three is starting to look solid. He'll persist as well with that strike partnership of Nassim Ben Khalifa and Piero Sotiriou. Makoto Mitsuta in support. Ben Khalifa, as I said, scored a hat-trick against Gamba in that last campaign. When you look at that on paper, 
there's real quality and a real threat. Watch out for Kawamura from that midfield. You feel that when they click, Sanfrecce will be really dangerous. Danny Poyatos, Spanish coach, born in Barcelona, two years at Tokushima Vortis, brought in to try and make things happen. And Skiba, a coach who took over last season and did make things happen. Catalonia against Germany today. Gamba against Sanfrecce, Hiroshima. We are just about ready to get underway. These Gamba fans are doing their side proud. Deafening noise. Will the players respond? Or will it be this man and Sanfrecce Hiroshima who can build on that good performance against Yokohama, build on that League Cup win and get themselves going, get themselves on the kind of role they need. Gamba, known as the Nerazzurri, the colours of Inter Milan, will get us underway. Suzuki back in the side, starts things off. They kick from left to right in this first half. And uh, Sanfrecce, Hiroshima in that change kit, all in white with a, a hint of the purple that constitutes their home colours. Will be interesting to see if they can get Ben Khalifa and Sotiriu clicking here. Neither really has done so far. There's Fukuda. Made his first start of the campaign in that League Cup game and scored against Kyoto Sanga. Dawan amongst the goals as well. Very important player for them, Dawan, in that Central midfield, creative role. Here's Higashi. And Morishima. It's going to be fascinating to see if they can get Mitsuta on the ball. That's a terrific ball forward, though. Huge chance. The visitors in front early. Ben Khalifa in acres of space at the far post. Higashiguchi back in the side for Gamba and beaten inside 90 seconds. It is a catastrophic opening. They didn't do their defensive jobs. Could Higashiguchi have done better? I think he could. Nassim Ben Khalifa again against Gamba Osaka. What a start here. Since they were short of goals, but after three in the League Cup, now they're back amongst the goals. Sort of finish that strikers love, of course. Flap from Higashiguchi, and it was there for Ben Khalifa just to stroke home. Shows Sasaki caught in that challenge. Juan Alano, the uh, right-sided Brazilian striker here, just backing in and making a back for Sasaki. Kisuke Asako to take the goal kick, no issues with the goalkeeping situation at Sanfrecce Hiroshima. Big call to leave out Jose Tani, play Higashiguchi and hasn't started well. Here's Higashi, Ben Khalifa, he'll be full of confidence now.
Gian Alano closed down very, very quickly, and according to the referee, illegally. Just need to settle a bit here, Gamba. They only won four home games last season. They won five away. And they really did flirt with relegation. Desperate campaign. Didn't work at all for Tomohiro Katano Saka. Only stayed uh, a season and this new dawn with... Uh, Danny Poyatos, which was always going to take some time. He's got a very specific playing style, very much possession-based, very modern, not necessarily working at the moment. Higashi. Hiroshima, much more high energy, high press. It's from... Osaka, Masaki Higashiguchi. Been at the club since 2014, previously at Alberex Niigata. There's Sho Sasaki. Miura. Well, they've overplayed a bit there, and they can be guilty of that. It can be an issue with the way that Foyatos plays. That's why he needs everyone to have patience. Sasaki. Isn't it amazing the difference that goal can make? They're playing with such confidence. Real spring in the step of Skibber's side at the moment. There's Higashi. Now the goal scorer, Ben Khalifa. Joining in here is Mitsuta. Enjoyed his breakout campaign last season. Makoto Mitsuta has struggled so far to build on that. Morishima. That's an awkward defensive header and it was a much better chance than Ben Khalifa made it look. He had a bit more time than that. Wide from Morishima, now Higashi. Gamba Asako do not look well organised at all here. They do look like a team that lost 4-0 last week and one that hasn't really adjusted. Can Sanfrecce take advantage again? They very nearly can, it took a deflection. Not Suda it was bursting through. Was that just arrowing into the uh, far corner? Might well have been. Protection off the defender took it closer to goal, if anything. So actually, Notsuda nearly got lucky. Have they picked up from the corner? They really hadn't. Sasaki climbed. And at the moment, the visitors threatening a second goal here. Did get there. Kawamura just couldn't get the all-important touch. Yeah, work to do here for Danny Poyatos.
so far the visiting side dominating possession here over 60 percent in these opening moments of the game when you bear in mind that Poyatos plays a possession-based game it shows you how wrong it's gone so far always the criticism of Vajatos at uh, his previous club, Tokushima Vortis, that they didn't score enough, that it was too much about possession. It was the Catalan coaching cliche, isn't it? Higashi. Show Sasaki. There's not Suta. Enter Miura. See, good energy from the cheerleaders over in the tunnel, over on the far side of the pitch. Needs to be reflected a bit in the team at the moment. Here's Higashi. It's Ben Khalifa running the channel, but... Not too successfully. Scorer, that early goal inside 90 seconds. Suzuki chasing all the way. Shima. That's a clever touch and it may yet fall their way here. Ben Khalifa just on his heels a bit as that was played through. Does enjoy playing against Gamba Osaka though, doesn't he, after the hat trick? Last season and the early goal here. The Swiss centre forward. Only one goal in 17 before today, so it's a welcome return to form of sorts anyway. That's overhit the pass for Mitsuta. But there are spaces here to exploit. And so far, Sanfrecce Hiroshima are exploiting them pretty well. Skibber will be delighted with this start. Juan Alano. It's a lazy pass out from the back and Gamba trying to take advantage of that. Now ben Khalifa looking to help this on. Played it in behind Higashi.
can just sit back and revel in the noise, can't you? This Panasonic Stadium. Crowd right now not getting what they deserve. Fukuda with the run, and I think he's fortunate there, Araki, not to get a yellow card. Can he be the catalyst? Yuya Fukuda certainly made a difference to them in uh, midweek in the League Cup. Here he is again. Really clever, quick feet from Fakuda. Just waiting for support. Here's Suzuki and behind for the Gamba Osaka corner. Takashi Usami across to take. in towards that near post goalkeeper came unconvincingly get another chance to curve in that cross and nodded behind by Dawan bit better from Gamba Osaka Usami's ball in Brazilian Dawan with the header wide as you can see standing at 63 to 37 five shots to none three on target to none Hiroshima deserved to be in front forward by Kurakawa again for Kuda support here from Usami Here's Netalavi. Israeli international in the centre of that Gamba Osaka midfield. Shima. There's Higashi. Not Suda. And Higashi once more, and Higashi has kept his run going, floating into that space. Wasn't a bad cross either, but no one attacking it convincingly. And then was that just a tug on the shirt? It was. Be trying to break away how much contact is that yeah there's enough from Sotiriu first player to go into the book Struggle to make too much of a contribution in J-League play, Piero Sotirio, the Cypriot striker, but he did score those two dramatic late goals that won them the League Cup against uh, 
Yamba City rivals, Serezo Osaka. Remarkably, goals in the 96th and 101st minute in normal time, though. Added time at the end of it to win them that League Cup. It's a heartbreaker to lose that, isn't it? When you're 1-0 up in the 96th minute, it doesn't even go to extra time. Usami. Do commit players forward, three inside the penalty area. Sami again with good quality on that cross, but the movement in there wasn't great. Suzuki won the header. A couple of players making the same run there, really. Yeah, behind for a goal kick. Ben Khalifa, the goal scorer. Now Higashi. Sasaki. Back from uh, Higashi, who's had a lively game down that left-hand side. Morishima now. Khalifa earns them the corner. Contact. Referee not happy about that. Keeping an eye on uh, Igawa and Sasaki. Mini wrestling match going on there. Need to be very careful with that contact. The Gamba defensive players. Way by uh, Suzuki. Here's Ben Khalifa. Going to be another corner and more danger for Gamba Osaka here. Again, useful movement. Again, good header. Really good climb there by Suzuki. But again, that movement, and this time he got on the end of it, Shou Sasaki. Met that really well. He does contribute goals from centre half. He scored in that League Cup win in the week against Yokohama FC. Game in which they were 1 0 down. Until the 75th minute, by the way, Sanfrecce Hiroshima and came back to win it 3-1. Mitsuta with the equaliser then. Sasaki, who we just saw with that header, and then an own goal. Here's Dawan. Usami. Now Miura. Riku Handa. Oh, 
Netalabi. by Miura. And Satiriu caught as he tried to play that, but referee says no foul. Gamba might make something of this. Juanalano with the ball in. Would have been interesting if they had scored there, because uh, clearly an incident they would have looked at in the midfield. So Sanfrecce Hiroshima leading here against Danny Poyatos and Gamba Osaka. The goal inside the opening couple of minutes from Nassim Ben Khalifa. After a useful cross, but just a touch of a flap from Masaki Higashiguchi, the returning goalkeeper. There is the goal scorer. Twice the winner of the Tunisian League and under 17 World Cup winner with Switzerland back in 2009. Another fairly clumsy challenge, Usami, the player who went over. And that is a, a word of warning for Satiriu, who is on that yellow card. Let's have a look at this again. He's got to be careful. That is now a tightrope being walked by Pieros Satiriu. For the rest of this game. Sign of recovery from Gamba Osaka here after a very, very shaky start, particularly defensively. Really, when you've lost 4 0, been thrashed, frankly. Worst thing you can do is concede an early goal. It just brings back all those bad memories, and it's exactly what happened here. And they were slightly fortunate not to go too down, but now Gamba Osaka is starting to play a bit. Here's Miura. Happy, aren't they, to just take their time in moments like that? It's very much the Poyatos way. Let Patrick go to Kyoto Sanga after finishing as their top goal scorer for the last three seasons, Gamba. Big call that. Brought in the goalkeeper, Kosetani, who has been left out here. Sami. Yeah. 
Painful one there for Musashi Suzuki. Throw from Higashi. Then Khalifa there to chase. He does provide a physical test and a bit too much of a physical test there. And in the meantime, Higashi just caught late here as he uh, played the ball forward. Yeah, painful one from Lavi on the, that left instep and with the boots they wear these days. It's really tough. Is a painful one. And he's going to show uh, Lavi the yellow card. Probably deserved. When you play his position in the manner he plays it, it's a slightly frustrating one. The arrival from uh, Maccabi Heist for Neta Lavi. There's the player whose goal currently separates them. Nassim Ben Khalifa. A water taken on board and we can uh, resume now. Higashi OK to carry on. Here he is straight away. Hiroshima third in last season's J-League, significantly better than the fans had expected. Their best finish since 2018. Winners of the J-League Cup, runners-up in the Emperor's Cup. It was a terrific season. Skibber did so well, but he's got to build on it here. Last season's J-League Manager of the Year. Comes with expectations. And Alano to play it in just wide by Suzuki. Mighty have done better here. Alano waited and waited. Does really well, the Brazilian. The near post was there. Took a slight deflection the cross, but in a way that might have made it easier. Now for me, I know he's short of the near post. And it's not the easiest finish, but he's got to score. It was there for him, just didn't quite have the subtlety of finish. Scored against Sagan Toshu already this season. Just one goal in the last campaign. He wouldn't be a, a natural out-and-out -out goal scorer. Be just asking there for a technical skill, really. Big chance for the equalising goal. Here's Higashi. Still trying to get Mitsuta on the ball that little bit more. 
passing him by a touch at the moment. There's Riku Handa. Now Igawa. Second year at the club for Dawan. Former oh, youth player from Flamengo. Made at Corinthians as well. Senior at Ponte Preta and Juventude. Been an important addition for Gamba Osaka. Final ten minutes of the first half. Usami. Dowan. Now some space might open up. Riku Handa waits for support here. Arrives from Dowan, who does so well to dig out the cross. Lavi recycles, here they come again, Gamba. And that's behind for another corner. from the back, so to Igawa, just coming up behind him. Try and add some aerial strength, there are four of them in a line. Now they break, there's the delivery, Igawa was the target. Another corner, good sustained pressure now. Fifth corner for the home side. Can they make something of one of them? That's a good grab. Osako with really good spring there. Those flatter deliveries, though, with a bit more pace and whip, are the ones that are more likely to cause problems. Definitely more encouragement for Poyatos. The way they've responded to conceding his Suzuki, but he wants too much time on the ball. Now Dawan had his shirt tugged, surely, but referee didn't spot that. Juan Alano. Now, Satiriu, who remember is on a yellow card and sort of subsequent warning, is frustrated with the referee about the treatment that's being dished out to him. <laughs> he 
is Miura. Shima helps it on now for Higashi. energetic game he was their best player by miles on the opening day against Consadole very nearly scored and that goalless draw been a bit quieter here so far there's Alano switching the play Gamba do get forward in numbers when they have the ball Zelano, Riku Handa. Well, I don't think he was going to give that, and then when he saw the counter attack was on, the referee changed his mind. He's done a good job so far, Akihiko Ikeuchi. Sami then to take. Got free at the far post and just runs behind. Nice idea. Well, approaching half time. It Feels a little bit like the same old story for Danny Poyatos. They've had good possession in forward areas after being dominated early on. And good situations in that final third, but not really creating too much apart from that big chance for Suzuki when he side-footed wide at the near post when he really should have scored. That was their best opportunity. As for Sanfrecci Hiroshima, they've... Played at a high tempo, they got the early goal and they looked really threatening in the 10 minutes or so after they'd scored. The moment though, just kind of closed down space and stopping Gamba from playing. It's nicely poised this one. Koto Mitsuta. In from Mitsuta and headed home. Flag. It won't count. It must have been tight. They'll have a look at this. Let's have a look. And as it's played there, Satiriu's off. He gets the flick on there, yeah. Oh, no, was it a gamba touch? I think it might have been. 
They will have a close look at this. That's what Sotiriou was saying. That he didn't make that contact at the near post. Have they got a second here? Do they deem Sotiriou to have been impeding the defender anyway and therefore involved? They'll just have to try and pick the bones out of this one. So the conversation continues, they're still checking. Definitely aimed in towards Sotiriou at that near post. Here it is again. See, he's off for sure. He's jumping for it, but I'm not sure he gets a touch. It's one of those debatable ones because how involved is Sotiriou in the play? Because if it's deemed that he's forced the defender to do what he did, then the goal won't stand. Three added minutes, and it will be more at the end of this first half. It shouldn't really be taking this long. They think they might have a second goal. see quite clearly what the debate is all about about involvement and about who gets the touch and so on it's gonna not stand it is offside it took a while to get there didn't it but we will continue so they're denied I think they denied because there wasn't conclusive evidence that Sotiriou wasn't involved and maybe that he didn't just get a feather of a touch as well. And they have to be sure. That kind of feels right to me. It's a borderline one, but feels about right. Dawan. Now it's Gamba applying the pressure right at the end of the half, and they've got a corner as well. Now this would be a good way to conclude this first half. For Gamba Osaka, let's see. Five in a line this time, teased into that near post. Netalavi. This cross hooked in and only half cleared. His goal is what separates them. They could have had a second. They very nearly did have a second. Ruled out, I think, correctly for offside, but chances, moments after they'd grabbed the lead. At the other end, Gamba with one big opportunity for Suzuki. Suzuki. Been enough in this Gamba Osaka performance to suggest there is a way back into this for them. Half 
beautiful header by Sasaki. And that will do it. Half time at the Panasonic Stadium in Suita, and it is Nassim Ben Khalifa's goal in the opening couple of minutes that separates the sides at the moment. Mitsuta hasn't really got involved again. It's been uh, down the left-hand side where they've profited. Higashi's been excellent for Sanfrecce Hiroshima. As for Gamba, they need to offer more. There's a spotlight on Higashi Gucci, his part in that goal. But at half-time at the Panasonic, Gamba Osaka nil, Sanfrecce Hiroshima one.
So Frecci, Hiroshima leading by a goal to nil at half-time at the Panasonic Stadium in Suita. And that man, Masaki Higashiguchi, I wouldn't say he was at fault for the goal, but just a sense that, well, things could have gone differently with the, uh, the hand he got on that shot at the near post. Change at half-time, not a hugely surprising one. We mentioned that Piero Sotiriu was rather walking that tightrope and... In the end, Skibber has decided to put him out of his misery. Taishi Matsumoto, the player who's come on to replace him. Midfield player, really, Matsumoto. So I think Ben Khalifa will be ploughing more of a lone furrow. So we're back underway. Interesting first half, wasn't it? Sanfrecce Hiroshima... Starting really brightly, grabbing the early goal. Through that player, Ben Khalifa, very nearly grabbing a second as well. Then Gamba came back into things. Should have scored through Musashi Suzuki. And then uh, that goal ruled out. Flag going up, and as it turned out, I think just about correctly. Very, very hard one to pick the bones out of, that was. Just that one change then at half-time. The reason that we're seeing uh, so much of Higashiguchi is a major figure at the club, and it was a big pre-season call. The new arrival, Kosei Tani, given uh, the starting goal at the beginning of the season, so to bring back Higashiguchi, well, that's been the story. There's an effort from long range that wasn't the worst from... Uh, Mitsuta. Would have been a good way to introduce yourself, wouldn't it? The start of the second half after a quiet first period. Some way wide. Nine goals last season in his first year in the first team. Cap for the national side as well. A real talent, but one that often the case, isn't it? Just struggling to find his feet after such a good first season. I'm sure he'll be hugely influential. There's Dawan.
Ali Gower. Kurakawa, now Alano. Oh, now it might open up for Dowan. Well, he saw it. He could see the picture in front of him. Just couldn't quite curve it under the crossbar. Netalavi, there's Dawan. Well, he's given the free kick, there was a stray arm in the challenge there. Sasaki, the player who was caught. And they pushed the hand in the face. Juan Alano. Sasaki does have a habit of getting into these uh, mini running battles all over the field. Quite a character in that sense. Good team man, though, no question about that. And the fans love him. Araki. Kuda just hoping that something opens up here and it won't quite do it for them. There's Juan Alano. Now Igawa. Forward by Kurakawa. Is for Kuda. Nagawa. Miura. Now Suzuki. Is Juan Alano. This is much better from Gambara Saka. No way through, though, but now there might be. Fakuda straight out of Sako, but it's better. It's better from Danny Poyatas' side. Gambara Saka's first effort on target. Only taken uh, until the 52nd minute. There's something for the home fans to grab hold of as well.
Here's Juan Alano. Now Dawan. Alano sent tumbling, but nothing illegal about the challenge. Here's Keisuke Kurakawa. Gower. Now Usami. Usami to find Dawan. Defender slipped there. Dawan just couldn't take advantage. Had to get the shot away earlier, but. It's a really good spell, this, for Gamba Osaka. They've turned around that possession statistic in terms of what we saw early on in that first half. 64% possession for the possession-based Gamba Osaka of Danny Poyatos. More like it from his side. But will they look vulnerable at the other end? Here's Ben Khalifa. Did well, didn't he, Ben Khalifa? I know they've cleared it away, but great durability there as he tried to hold on to the ball. The stray arm there on the halfway line. Raki was caught by Musashi Suzuki. Suzuki instantly apologising. See the smile on his face and sense it was involuntary. They are going to have a, a conversation, presumably, about this. That was the end of it. Need to see that again. Yeah, nothing more to do. So Fretchy Hiroshima need to be careful here, though, because uh, having looked the better side in the first half, they've been a, a little bit passive in the second so far. Alano. Here's Usami. Floated in towards Dawan Suzuki in there as well. They are committing players forward here. Alano penalised for that foul. Noticeable, that was late, wasn't it? But noticeable how that decibel level here has just risen and risen. They are responding to their team. Here's Juan Alano. Now 
Omid Suter. That's better. Movement off the ball from Matsumoto. Suter to take the throw. Then Khalifa with a touch. Matsumoto here and drew the save, you know, at the near post. And it was awkward from Higashiguchi. Took a slight deflection. He has not looked full of confidence here, the goalkeeper, 36 years of age and so much experience. A fourth corner for Sanfrecce Hiroshima. Taken by Mitsuta. Counter-attack might be on here, Dawan has seen that run, but it's all just a bit laboured. Now, though, they could make it happen. Great pass with the outside of the foot. Here's Fukuda. Now he was looking to cut it on his right, then he went the other way. Earns him a corner, but it might have been more. Willing the ball into the back of the net. It's a heavy touch and grabbed by Osako. What a Shima. Now Mitsuta. Great ball in from him. Ben Khalifa got the timing of the header horribly wrong. And Khalifa. Streaming forward again here, Suzuki, the player available. Breaks now for Dawan. That's flicked behind by Sho Sasaki. Sami's had a really bright start to this second half in particular. Real local legend of the club. Second spell with him now. Darted again into that near post and the follow-up strike's a good one. Labby. Suzuki was being lent all over there. No complaint from him. Complaint on the sideline, though, you can see from Poyatos and his team. It's not enough to look at and overturn, but it's not a great challenge. It's a terrific ball spun forward to Ben Khalifa. Now one on one. What can he do? Well, not enough.
Okuda. And Juan Alano. Suzuki. There's a Gower. Now Kurakawa. Fukuda. And again, Kurakawa. Look, a really nice, fluent side, Gamba Osaka. It's just that lack of an end product that everybody talks about. Not just with this team, but with Boyatos's previous team. Finished second in 2020, Gamba Osaka. In the last two seasons, they've been fighting relegation. They won two and drew two of their last four games last season to stay up. Not really good enough for a team this magnitude with fans like this. Hiroshima, the away side, have had double the amount of shots of Gamba. It's that sign that that end product hasn't really been there, but there's still time. Here's Juan Alano. Now for Kuda. Well, that's a clever ball through. Is this the moment, Suzuki? Leaning back, head in the air, blazes over. Once again, build up great. End product nowhere near good enough. Got to do better than this. I mentioned earlier, he's not... I think a natural centre forward, and you can see it there. That was not the finish of a finisher. So we had a goal inside 90 seconds, and we're heading towards the final quarter of the game, and still that's the goal that separates them here. Usami. Now Kurakawa. Here's Igawa. Back with Keisuke Kurakawa. Now for Kuda. Again from Kurakawa. So the service in was excellent again. Now Juan Alano. Needs to change things up, doesn't he? Danny Poyatos. Sam Jabali out today. Not available. Of Riataro Machino, be one of the options, certainly. And Juan Alano, five shots on target to two, ten shots to seven, tells its own story, doesn't it? To be honest, having scored early, they've sat on it a little bit. Played on the counter, really, Sanfrecce, Hiroshima. Here's Mitsuta. Well, 
moment, that much improved performance against Yokohama Marinos is going to be up to notch here and deliver a first win of the season, but there's still a lot of time to go. They'd love a second here, the visitors. Good run there from Chukasa Shiotani. Now Sasaki. Flick around the corner, needs to be careful with the challenge and wasn't careful enough. Shima did well to get in behind. Takasa Morishima was the second top goal scorer after Mitsuta last season with eight. And he started last season really well, only scored one in the last 19 games of that campaign. Seven of the eight came pretty early. He's had a good game here, the Morishima number 10. Times taking over that creative mantle, really, which is meant to sit on Mitsuta. It's a lovely ball forward for Usami. Now then, Usami with purpose and with an equalising goal. He did it all on his own. Dazzling feet, that little bit of luck. And then he found the finish. Lift off for Gamba Osaka. Ball into the channel and then Usami skipped around one challenge, got the shot away, and that deflection helped take it past Osaka. It's his goal though, and for their second half pressure so far. They just about deserve it here, Gamber. It was always going to come from one of these attacking midfield players. Nothing really coming from the forward players, and it's Usami who came up trumps, and here they come again! Oh! Had to be 2-1, but Suzuki couldn't take the chance. He couldn't get his feet sorted out in time. What a moment this would have been. Would have been two goals in a minute. It really should have been. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's the pressure of the defender that puts him off, but it, it goes back to the point I was making. Not a natural goal scorer. Even a player as rudimentary as Ben Khalifa crashes into that and scores. Changes coming here for. Gambra Saka, Ryotaro Machina, the player I mentioned, is on. So too, Rihito Yamamoto. Wow. Oh. Fresh impetus as well as fresh legs for Gambra Saka. Here's a first touch for Ryotaro Machino. That's too easy for the goalkeeper. It's a little stabbed ball in. Miura. Shuto Nakano comes on here for Sanfrecce. 
fact, it's the substitute who's been substituted, Matsumoto. Must have been carrying a knock, that was a half-time change. Khalifa in a wrestling match, he felt he was being fouled. The game has changed, though, hasn't it? The goal, and suddenly Gamba feel that they're the likelier winners. They really should be in front. Big miss from Suzuki. off the arm. Shiatani. Dragged across by Kawamura for a moment, it looked like an opening. And quieter than usual here, Takumu Kawamura, born in uh, Hiroshima, very much playing for his hometown club. The cross was deflected, though. So Sampreche have a corner. From Mitsuta, goalkeeper was nowhere and it's headed wide. How close they came to regaining the lead. Big chances now at either end. And the keepers got away with one there. Completely misjudged it. Header from Shuto Nakano, who'll feel that he should have scored. Substitute nearly making a, an instant impact. 15 to go. And Suita. Higashi. Morishima. Oh, clever flick from Higashi. Half an appeal for a penalty there, but it's another chance with the cross anyway. Nakano was waiting. Clearance only took it half away. Now it falls for. Kawamura behind for a corner, great response from Hiroshima now. What a good game this has been. Corner number six for the away side. In towards that near post and... Araki got underneath it. He's in there attacking it. It's another great delivery. Set pieces from Sanfrecce have been excellent here. from Suzuki. <laughs> 
Kawashima keeps his run going and like he was cleaned out there. Surely given the free kick, has he? The claim from Usami was that it wasn't a corner, but he made the mistake of conceding the free kick. It was a final touch off uh, Morishima. Now then, what can Mitsuta do? Can he just conjure something for them? Mentioned earlier that set pieces have been so good. Suter into the near post. Goalkeeper's dropped it again. I don't think Masaki Higashiguchi is necessarily going to start the next game. It's been a shaky display. And frankly, from the goalkeeper of his experience, 14 years... Tani senior, shaky is not why you put him in the side. Kawamura. Shosasaki. Responded so well to conceding that equalising goal. Into the final ten, Mitsuta will get another chance here. to the keeper again and this time he holds it first time of asking Higashiguchi one back here by Sanfrecce then Khalifa down holding his right shin and there's a clever ball through, now then, can he keep his nerve? This time he can't again. Suzuki, three golden chances now for him. And having seen that shot saved, he turned his back on the play. Almost gave up on it. And there was uh, an opportunity again to put the ball into him. Juan Alano, Suzuki again keeps coming. The goalkeeper has made a misjudgment. Back on his line now, though. Usami, good stop. He did well to get back into position there, Asako. And down to smother. Action at either end. Does well to hold this, it was an awkward one. The changes coming for the home side of one two for San Frecce. Yu Takao is on here for Riku Handa. It's a change at right back, reversal of the change that was made. Uh, before kick-off, and uh, Hiroki Yamami is on for Alano. Osaka-born striker, Yamami. You can see uh, Takaki Shishi getting ready, and he is indeed on to replace Higashi. New signing from Avispo Fukuoka. Second substitute appearance of the season.
came on at half time in that Yokohama Marinos game. First touch for Yamami. Are we going to get a winner? It's been a very lively game. And it's taken its toll, clearly. Well, Usami knows his body uh, better than anyone, and he pointed over to the sideline. So Yuki Yamamoto makes his uh, second substitute appearance of the season, having started a couple of games as well. Usami much loved, and he gets a great ovation, the scorer of the equalising goal. Sanfrecce on that counter. Ben Khalifa there. Nakano did so well. Could Ben Khalifa have done better? Maybe. Not the most sure footed in there, is he? Nakano with the throw. Just about going to keep this in play and teases in the cross. Did well, didn't he? Takaki, Shichi. And as a result of all of that, they've got a free kick. Both sides going for it here. Quality like it's not bad into that near post. Morishima. Mitsuta now. There's Shishi. Goalkeeper's made another mess of it and gets away with it. Higashiguchi. No way through for Yamami. Then Khalifa, Suzuki wasn't even able to foul him there. Now Morishima, here's Mitsuta. Just hit it straight out, Ben Khalifa. It was a miscue from Mitsuta. Here's Hiroti Yamami. Made an awful lot of that challenge and he's earned his side a free kick.
moving into the final 90 seconds here. That was a painful contact. Referee's just stopping things. I think they're probably taking a look at that challenge. Didn't seem dangerous, but you want to take uh, a closer look. Final minute then of the 90. OK to carry on. Just a reminder, by the way, Lavi is on a yellow card, but they wouldn't look at VAR for a second yellow. It would have to be for a straight red. Question now of how many minutes will be added here. Suzuki. Four minutes to be added, still plenty of time for someone to find a winning goal. Shatani's ball in, not really good enough there. Gamba able to clear and maybe launch an attack of their own, but Sasaki read that so well. Not Suda now. Only just about glanced away. And here's Shishi. He looks a useful acquisition. Left-sided forward player can play at left-back. Takaki Shishi. There's a player who gave... Hiroshima the lead, 90 seconds in, and then it was Usami with the equaliser, 20 minutes from time. Oh, they're playing with fire, and Ben Khalifa's been fouled! In the final moments! Gamba playing out from the back for the umpteenth time. His philosophy, and they pay the price. It's a crazy ball out from Higashiguchi. And Labby just fell over and fell into Ben Khalifa. And it counts as a foul, I'm afraid. Unless there was a push on him, which there wasn't, he slips. And even though it's not leg to leg, and even though he sort of tumbles like that, it's still a penalty kick. But again... Fingers point at Higashiguchi. Yes, the philosophy. Yes, the constant need to play out from the back, but also the execution. They are going to look at this in case... They feel it wasn't a foul by Lavi. I think it's fairly clear-cut. What a chance then for Mitsuta. What a nightmare for him. He's made a big call bringing Higashiguchi in and he's got it wrong. The penalty does stand. It will be Makoto Mitsuta, the hero of last season. Started all four in this campaign and yet to score. And could this be the ultimate redemption? Higashiguchi's had a nightmare. But if he saves a late penalty, it'll all be forgiven. We're into the final minute of the four. This to strike a hammer blow to the heart of Gamba Osaka. Mitsuta wins it for Sanfrecce Hiroshima. There was never any doubt. 
and it is the cruelest blow for the home fans. He drives them surely to a first win of the season. And he held his nerve, and I'm afraid Higashiguchi's nightmare today is complete. If in doubt, slam it down the middle. He got enough height on it. And Higashiguchi was never saving that. Big hug for Skibber from Sirhat Umar. Here it is. It's a clear foul. No debate about the award and certainly no debate about the quality of the finish. Might argue that Lavi's lucky to stay on, having been booked. That would be to split hairs. Already in the fifth added minute, there'll be a little bit of time added here. San Frecce preparing a change. Of course they are. Toshihiro. Ayoamo is going to replace Notsuda. This is all about the clock. It always felt as if this game just had a little bit more to offer, and so it proved. Chances at either end, and then the coup de grace from Mitsuta. You can play this possession game and insist on playing out from the back all you want, but you will pay the price. They paid it in the very last moments of the game. It's going to be a, a gamba goal kick. They'll try and get on with it, but I'm not sure there's time. Great win that for San Frecce Hiroshima. Gamba played better, but didn't have enough. Ben Khalifa, the key contributor. The early goal, then the late penalty win, thrashed home by Mitsuta. Usami with an equaliser in between all of that. And a nightmare for Higashiguchi. Horrible, horrible day for him. Brought into the side and it turned out to be the wrong call. In the end, Usami's equaliser is irrelevant. Labby's... Foul right at the end has cost his side, and there's thinking to do here for Danny Poyatos. He's at a big club with a huge fan base and a passionate fan base, and this isn't good enough. Mitsuta thrilled that he took the chance, and it was the winning chance. It finished here. Gamba Osaka one, Sanfrecci Hiroshima two. So Mitsuta, the late hero. Got to like the confidence about the way he took it as well. Only 23, but remember, it's still young, really, in Japanese football years, because he's been at university and come through into the side. It's only his second year in the first team. And I thought he took that superbly well. And that might just be the kickstart that he needs to take his season forward after a quiet opening to it. Sami will have words, I'm sure, for... His goalkeeper, Gashiguchi, rather thrown in here, and there'll be so much focus on him. Doesn't know them much. He's been a great servant for them, but once again, Poyatos has a big call to make. Does he bring Kose Tani back into the side? Does he look for another keeper at some point? All smiles from Ben Khalifa. And the uh, goal scoring hero and penalty winning hero. It's probably uh, going to be heard from, I think, uh, in a few moments' time. Suzuki missed those chances too, three of them. Golden ones. Usami took his, but in the end it wasn't enough. It was, though, better in patches from Gamba Osaka. It's something maybe to build on, but it's Sanfrecce Hiroshima who have a win to build on, given them by that man, Mitsuta nervelessly striking home that late penalty. Satiriu taken off at half-time after 
a yellow card and then a warning. But they're a good unit. Sanfrecce, Hiroshima, Skiba really has them playing for each other. And in the end, it was just about enough here. A win in the League Cup followed by a first win in the J-League. There'll be plenty of messages, positive ones, from the coach in their post-match huddle. See Skibber getting his point across with the translator. Need to build on this, need to keep getting better. Still very early in the season. And if they can keep improving, see their fans up there making plenty of noise, then who knows what they might achieve. It took them six weeks to get their first win last season. They managed it significantly earlier in this campaign. And there's the player who grabbed them the win. But here's Nassim Ben Khalifa. Ja, also das war ein super Pressing von uns vor allem. Und äh, wenn ich das Ball bekommen habe, äh, eigentlich habe ich gemacht, wie ich äh, vor dem Tor gehe. Und dann letzten Moment habe ich das Dribbling gemacht. Ich habe gesehen, er ist mit viel Schnelligkeit gekommen. Er konnte mich nur faulen in diesem Moment. あの、自分たちのプレスがすごくハマったし、デボールも奪えたっていうところがありました。で、ドリブルをしようとした時にちょうど後ろからディフェンダーが来るなっていうのは分かりました。本当にえ、その<音楽> 